There we go. My 1911 rail concept. Made by Colt. Light. Made by Umarex. Licensed by Colt. So it has full Colt trademarks. I keep my gun in a herd case. Yeah. There you go. See how it slid down because I have that. So, this is going to be just mainly a review of the gun. And then I'll be doing a shooting later on today. Um, because this is how I do it. Um, so, you have the gun. This is a 3.6 pound 1911 race gun. Um, full working blowback action. The hammer works like the 1911 hammer. You have your full cock and your half cock, which locks. Okay? It's locked, nothing will happen. You can put the safety up and the side won't go back. Um, so this gun also has um, working beaver tail safety, which is metal. Um, Working ambidextrous safety, which is metal. Working slide lock, which is metal. Um, these sights are tactical sights, which come with the gun. These are all coming with the gun. They're fully adjustable. This one you can slide back and forth. You don't need to. It's a front sight. But this is adjustable for height, for uh, distance, and windage. Um, this has trademarks. It does say um, caliber 6mm, it's kind of stupid, they should put uh, 45, but he does have the full markings right here, it says 45 ACP right there. Um, oh, it also has a metal uh, magazine catch, metal trigger, metal hammer, uh, full metal barrel, everything on that is metal. Um, the silver part right here, so silver, silver, and silver are aluminum actually. Um, and then, I think this is aluminum too. This is steel. I think this is aluminum and this is steel. Um, so then, I mean, even the sights are metal, except for the plastic, the sights are metal. Um, the, other, the only plastic parts on this gun are the grip. These are a high impact uh, grip, which are really nice. These give you a really nice grip on the gun. Uh, the plastic tip, uh, I think. Um, and the, uh, the gas valve inside. Um, so it puts it down for a second. This gun is a CO2 gun. It runs on a 12 gram cartridge. 33 round magazine. One in the chamber. To change the uh, CO2, you push this this little button right here. You push it in. Push this out. Unscrew it. Put it in. And then push this down. Alright. Then you just pull this down. Put your BBs in. This is a double stack magazine. So it's nice. Here's the pin. Let's see the two out. Gun fits real nice in the gun. And then you have your three and a half pound gun. Um, this gun has a really nice kick. Um, it has a very nice strong recoil spring. So when you fire this gun, it gives you a nice big, not, it's, a, it's not like that, but it gives you a nice, which you'll see in the shooting. Um, the only downside about this gun is it costs around $200, um, depending on where you get it. I bought mine at the store, not online. I don't like getting stuff online. Um, so that's how much I pay for it. I did disassemble this gun, just like a 1911. You put the slide back to the designated point. And hold it down. I don't want to damage the uh, paint on it, and I don't have big enough fingers, so I just push it out with something. See? Just push it out. And your steel pin. And you have your slide. Now, on your slide, you have your gas uh, plastic gas piston, which is red. Um, then you have your really nice tight. Recoil spring thing is nice and strong, um, and then you have your your barrel. And you can see there's the inner barrel, which is brass. Okay. Um, I'm thinking 
This gun is very hard to fully disassemble. Um, you have to unscrew these. There are two pieces for the recoil rod. You have to do, uh, unscrew them, and then it'll all come out. But it's a very big pain in the ass. I did it once when I oiled it, and I'm not doing it again. Um, the body of the gun, metal. Um, this has a, an, a, amazingly, it has a 1911 trigger. If you can see, it has a real 1911 styled trigger. To, the detail is amazing in this gun. Um, it also has a hammer. If you can see this um, silver thing right here, see how it goes in? So that piece right there, so it comes out. So when this pin goes in, when you pull the trigger and the pin pops out, it hits this little tiny button right here. And it goes, pumps gas into the gun, pumps enough to shoot the round and then pull the side back. Um, to reassemble the gun, you take your base and your slide. You have to match it up to these pieces. Right here. Um, I haven't oiled this gun enough recently. I, I shot it recently, and I haven't oiled it. Um, so it's a tiny bit sticky. Good there. Nice and smooth. It has a longer uh, feed the grip, which I like. I like that. Nice look. Um, I forgot it has a pig tiny rail, a uh, tactical rail for anything you want to put. Lasers, lights, anything of that sort. Um, I have a light and a laser that I put on. Um, I prefer the laser, actually, because uh, I can have the laser and then I just hold a light with my hands like this. Uh, so the laser is nice. You can hold it like this. Just acquire your targets really fast. Um, this is the gun I use in. Actually, I'll just do that in my next video. I'll talk about what I use this for in the next video. Um, so that's the basics of the gun. Um, oh, forgot. The, um, the FPS on this gun with a 12 gram BB is 446 feet per second. That is a lot for one of these. This thing, I can get two and a half magazines off of two magazines on a warm day. This thing is heavy as hell. And it'll get 446 FPS. That's amazing. I've never shot or owned a gun that is like that. It, gas gun. Um, it gets 345 FPS with uh, 20 gram or over. It slightly decreases every 5 grams, I think, or 0.5 grams. Um, let me see. Okay, so to be exact, this gun is 2.61 pounds. Um, go to, uh, it is 9.76 inches from right here to right here. And there's one more thing I forgot to show you. Let's do this real quick. There is a hop-up adjustment in this gun. It does have that feature. And the feature is located... Let's see if the camera... Oh. It's, it's located right... Right there on the gun. Right there. If you can kind of see it, which it actually is metal. It has a metal uh, hop-up system, like the gear, which I really like. I think that's nice. Um, this gun will welt. This gun will kill small birds. Um, this gun is just a genuinely beautiful gun. Um, personally, I like the style of the gun, the way it has the top rail. It has the, I like a bigger sight on the front, I like a high uh, front sight. And just the style of the slide, how it kind of goes like this, and then flat on top, and then put it down. Um, I really like the extended rail, that's really nice in my opinion. Um, I like the weight. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot. It's really nice and what adds to the accuracy of this gun. This is a tapered barrel. So this barrel is the same width from about here to here, this has like a 7 inch barrel, from like here to here, and then right here it gets wide. So basically, when you fire the gun, you fire the gun, and the barrel it has almost no wobble, alright? The slide goes back, and the barrel can move, so when the slide goes back it's not damaging anything, because the barrel has a little bit of movement, it's not going to damage it. Slide goes forward, no wiggle, 
you can fire it. And the barrel is going to be nice and sturdy all the way through. The bullet will go a straight path. Well, straight as an airship bullet will go. Then, back, it gets wiggle room. That means this gun's going to last a long time. This gun is very high quality. And you're going to have very accurate shots. Um, Placement-wise, I'm, I don't, uh... I, I don't know exactly I'm thinking please, um, we'll do it in my shooting video you can see how accurate the shots are um, but uh, genuinely this is a very accurate gun um, I love it um, and I, I love bringing something like this to uh, to an airsoft field because people have like their 19, M1 1911 uh, government models uh, and they have like um, SIGs and like Glocks and stuff, but you don't find a lot of people who bring like race guns and like custom guns to uh, airsoft fields. And I really like that how it has like the hilt and the, the longer barrel and longer slide because it really makes the the gun stand out when you're in a field. Everyone's like, "Ooh, that's a cool gun!" You know, where you get that stuff like that, it gets a lot of attention. Um, let me think. Um, what's about this gun? I think that's about it. Um, the, this gun doesn't have a lot of uh, accessories you can buy for it. You can buy extra magazines, which I, I do, but um, you can't, that I know of. If you want, correct me. Please correct me if you know if you can buy extended magazines for this gun. I've been looking all over. I can't find one. If you know where you can find an extended magazine for this gun, tell me, because I want to buy one. Um, I think it looked great if it had one like that, sticking out like that. I think that'd be crazy as hell. Um, and, I mean, you you really, I mean, you could buy a barrel for this gun without the red tip, but it'd be really expensive. These are really expensive parts for the gun. Um, it's just, it's not a very upgradable gun because it has very high quality parts in it. So, they didn't make a lot of parts for it because there's not a lot you have to do to, I mean, it's already, this gun is already amazing. Um, the way it works, uh, the way it shoots, the action, um, uh, the accuracy, everything. So you really don't need to upgrade it. Um, I haven't upgraded it. Uh, most of my gas blow up guns, I do upgrade. I'll put like uh, high, higher um, quality recoil spring and stuff in. But this one doesn't. This one has a great recoil spring. Um, when you when you lock the slide back from this gun, you can really feel it like. It, like, it really pushes forward, which is great because it pushes forward and then it slams back and it pushes forward again. So you get a really nice feel. Um, to me, I mean, this gun has, it's close to um, the feel of a 22 short uh, pistol. Um, if you ever find one of those, the recoil feels about the same as this gun. Um, this gun also weighs a tiny bit more than one of those pistols. Um, uh, one more thing. Um, this square that you see right here in the bottom, you can see my finger, square right there. That piece fits right here on the magazine, it just fits on top. You can see. I don't know if you can see, but that's to hold the magazine nice and sturdy in the gun. This gun has no wiggle. I mean, when the press down, it has no wiggle. It, it doesn't, it's sturdy. I mean, it has a tiny bit, but that's just so that it doesn't break when it's being fired because there's such high uh, movement in the gun. Um, I think that's it. I'll be doing my shooting video soon. I'll be putting that up. So, uh, look me up, subscribe, comment, please, about the magazine. If anyone knows where I can find a magazine compatible with the 1911, the, the Colt 2009 Rail Concept 1911, uh, by Umarex, please tell me, because I think it's by Umarex. Um, yeah, no, it's not Umarex, it's Cybergun. Um, if anyone can find a magazine that will fit for this, please tell me. Uh, I mean, I've been looking one for, for one forever, and uh, can't find one, so if anyone knows, please. I'll pay you for the information. I'm just kidding, I won't. I don't know who you are. So, I won't be able to do that. But I will be very grateful for any information.
on this gun. It would be extremely appreciated. Um, thank you. This is uh, the 1911 rail concept in its case. Well, here, I'll take it out just for the last. 1911 rail concept in its case.